Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to show you a quick card for Christmas if you still need to do your Christmas card. This is a quick one. We're going to be using the um, Joliet Builder, and this one I used the stamp set, and I'm going to show you how I done it, but this is uh, for today we're going to be doing just the um, glimmer paper I think that's going to be cute so the jolly friend you get all the creature and then you get the hats so I'm going to show you how I do the stamping with the hat because I don't usually you know you stamp first and then punch out well this one I do it a bit differently what I like to do on this one for me, I find it so much easier because the way that the punch is built um, than trying to match and that the punch would fit and that. For me, this worked great. I know we can uh, mount our stamp set that match this, but this worked for me. So what I do, I keep this down here and all the way like this. And then I'm going to take the stamp set. And right now I get the little um, frou frou thing that go on the, like the little pom pom. So that would be the little round space. I take this, stamp right on it, remove it. Boom. Now, oh, I need some juice on my cleaner. And I'm going to show you how to do uh, one of the hat. So then you know the other card, how it's done. And I get the stamp set stuff under here okay I'm gonna pick one at it doesn't matter I done them all the same way so I grab the stripe one here and we're gonna ink this and this is cherry cobbler by the way and then you can see very well so you go right on top et voila that's simple and then I done the same thing for uh, the bottom. You get two different ones for the bottom. So let's pick one. Right now I just wrap the lines. So take this. And again, I'm going to move out of the camera a bit because I need to be able to see. And voila. So you see, it's very simple. That's usually, like I said, I like to stamp first and then punch. But this one, with all the bits and pieces, I like to do punch first and then my stamping. So that's how I done this. For the bell, I didn't like like the little flower or whatever, so I cut around it after I was done. I was like, oh, I just want the circle around. And I color, I stamped the bell in black. And I color it with a uh, Cajun, uh, not Cajun, I'm sorry, Crush Curry, and it looked like gold. The paper, I think that is the perfect paper for uh, Christmas. Again, it is that lovely serene uh, scenery paper, the designer scenery pad. We're going to cut this at four, uh, no, three, seven, eight by five and one eight. Because I just want a little bit of a border in the back of it. So voila. So it looked like the lights. It's, um, oh, it's a name for that. Now I cannot think of it. Maybe it's going to come to me down the road. And uh, we're going to, now I can only think of that. I got a video how to do that technique. Uh, maybe I'm going to think of it. Here we go. So white, it is five and a half by eight and a half. Score at four and a quarter. That make it a two car. And our um, Earl Olive, it is five and a quarter by four. And the other one that I stamped the hats, I put the back in Cherry Cobbler. Here we go. Now we're going to mount this. Oh, I want this way. It's no right or wrong. It's just I want the light more at the bottom. Because my Merry Christmas, it's from the stamp set Snow Place. I wanted a long Merry Christmas. And that's the one that uh, seemed to be uh, better. And I'm going to stamp that on with uh, old olive also. Boom, right here. 
And now we're going to build. So I'm using um, all the glimmer, uh, the glitter paper. So I get the real red, the dazzling diamond, the silver, and the gold. I, and I mix that. It is, um, when you're going to stamp, uh, stamp, when you're going to punch that, you be careful not to put your finger there. But after you know where it's going, it's better if you turn this down and go down on the floor. Leave it flat, not on the floor, but on your table. Leave it flat there and it punch much better than up. Plus up, be very careful. If you used to uh, keep your uh, punch like this, because when you stamped, you can see, just make if sure that your hand are not going in that. It's so easy to pinch yourself. But really, those, stamp, those punch are built to punch down on the surface. Now what I done, I mix everything. So let's get started with mounting them. And I like to mount the big hat, whatever the hat itself. I'm still thinking of this technique here. Silly me. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. I like to do the first one there and the last one and then center my the third one there. And here we go. Oh. Okay, and then my red one, I can come and center this right here. Now, for the fur on the top or whatever, what I like to do is take our um, uh, dimensional. Can you tell I'm very distracted because I'm trying to think of that technique and it won't leave my mind. Here we go. I just cut a strip and then, oops, we're going to remove this. Oops, in the back. Here we go. Now put, it's going to go this way or this way. Which way is better? I think it go this way. You know what? It's no right or wrong. I like to put it more at the bottom there. So then it can sit right on top of this. So then it's stay there good. So we're going to do that with all three. I want to say spotlight. It's not spotlight. Oops. Here we go. Put that right there. go. And this one. Now we're going to put the little um, pom pom. So again, I mix match all that. So I think this was there and the sill here and here. That's what I done. Okay, this year, the best thing for me to do with this, it's take a glue dot. And now I'm going to put it right at the top there. See? And then a glue dot. So uh, the little pom-pom um, thing, I use a glue dot and put it right at the peak there. Here we go. Oh, I love it with the glitter paper. And here we go. Whoops. Voila, my friend. So now you got it. I think that's awesome uh, card and here with the stamping so it like I said it's no right or wrong it's just doesn't matter which way you're gonna put uh, the paper and I will put the name at the top here whatever is that technique with uh, a link of the video at the end of the video for this technique if you don't have that paper you can do this 
So thank you so much. And again, for all your stamping up product, visit my blog at frenchystamps.com. And I will have all the supplies on my blog. You can click on the little I or below in the description, I get the direct link for my blog. Thank you and have a lovely day, my friends.